All right, so uh, as I was explaining uh, how to finish solving for sine of x, um, my computer crashed, and so we're just going to finish this problem. Um, uh, I was saying, you know, on the unit circle, sine is the y value, right? So I'm looking for where the sine, where the y value on the unit circle is uh, 1. So let's see. If I go up to pi over 2, the y value is, uh, I'm sorry, where is the y value? 3. If I go up to pi over 2, the y value is 1. That's not big enough. And as theta continues to increase, as the angle gets bigger, so uh, the, angles, the angles continuing to rotate around the circle, the y value is going down to 0. That's, that's even worse. 1 wasn't big enough. I don't want to go back down. How can I get an angle that's all the way up here at 3? I can't. This has no solution. Remember when we graphed y equals sine x? The highest it ever gets is 1. The lowest it ever gets is negative 1. It's never getting up here at 3. It's never going to be up there. There is no solution to this equation. And so my only solution is pi over 2 plus pi n. Okay? Here are your problems that I'd like you to do before class. Page 639, number 9. In page 639, number 17. So number 9 is to find the general solution here, 2 sine x minus 1. And number 17 is to solve on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, 3 tangent x minus root 3 equals 0. And these are both a little bit easier than the previous two examples, um, but we'll have a chance in class to do more of the complicated ones, okay? I'll see you then.